y'all. Welcome back to your at-home body weight program. Welcome to day two of week three. It's Natalie Higby here. Christian Placencia. And again, we thank you guys for joining us today. We have another full body workout for you. Our skill work of the day is going to be about accelerating, practicing some skill work there. But let's get into our warm up. We've got a few new movements for you today. So find a little bit of space. Now we're just going to use a space we have to travel forwards and backwards here. We're going to have Christian start with a bear crawl. So we're going onto the hands. We're walking, trying to go opposite hand and foot here as we move forwards. Again, just in whatever space you have, and then when you're ready, we'll walk it back. Now you'll notice Christian's kind of keeping his legs straight. There might be a soft bend in the knee, but his hips are up towards the ceiling. There you go. Let's go one more time forwards and backwards. We're going for about 30 seconds here. Keep breathing, keep moving. Again, we have our bear crawl. Again. See if you can go opposite hand, opposite toe as you move here. Beautiful job. Three, two, one. Good work, Christian. Awesome. Now we have crab walks. So we're going onto the ground, kind of like we do our mobile tabletop. Hands behind us, fingers behind or to the side. We'll lift our hips slightly off the ground. Now again, let's go opposite hand and foot as we walk forward. And I've got the time here. We're going for 30 seconds. And if you don't have enough space to travel, that's okay. You can just practice lifting opposite limbs, whatever space you have. Again, we're going to go forwards and backwards. Keep it up. That's about halfway. Nice job. Now, see if you can pull those shoulders back. Keep a nice, proud chest tall through the top of your head here. Awesome. Good coordination. Breathe. We've got another five, four, three, two, one. One, excellent job. Let's stand on up. We have star jumps next, kind of like a jumping jack, but you can take your time in between reps. Okay, so once you land, we'll reset for the next one. 30 seconds here though. Okay? Stand real quick. Yes. Be careful of your surroundings. Okay? This one we're going from this position to an open star position and then back. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, let's go. There it is. Good. And again, you can rest as much as you need to in between reps. Try to get a soft landing. Open up big at the top. There you go. How high can you get? Nice work. Breathe. Awesome job. Keep going. There it is. About 10 more seconds, y'all. Nice star jumps. Good. Keep it up. Keep it up. Five, four, three, two, one. Shake that off. Excellent work. Next up, we have our rotating down dog. Okay. So. This time we're going back down to the ground here. We've got a soft bend in the knees, okay? More than we did on the bear crawl is we reach opposite hand to leg here. So now we're rotating the upper body. Beautiful. And we've got 30 seconds on the clock. You move as fast or as slow as you need to. And you'll see Christian is reaching his opposite hand to his ankle. Good. And he's letting his eyes look underneath his arm, right? Letting his head go underneath that arm as we rotate. Beautiful job. Just a couple more reps here. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome work. Stand on up. Next up, we have our squats to a knee pull. Okay, so we're coming right here. We have a squat. We'll find a little bit of single leg balance as we pull our knee to our chest. Come back to that squat position and then pull. Beautiful job. Again, you can move as fast or as slow as you would like to or need to today, depending on how you're feeling. We have about 15 more seconds. <laughs> nice. Challenging that balance. Good work. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling? Feel good. Feel like my balance is being challenged. Mm -hmm. My hamstrings feel very loose. Nice. After all those bear crawls. <laughs> good. Three, two, one. Awesome job. Now we're going down to the ground for our shin box switches. Now, from this position, we're just allowing the knees to fall side to side. I'm going to keep my hands on the ground. Christian, you can take your hands off the ground. So you guys can do whatever version of this feels okay for your hips. The key here is trying to keep your spine long. So as you're shifting side to side, we don't want to curl up here like a little roly-poly, right? Yeah. Boom. We want a nice proud chest. We call it a Superman chest. So again, we're moving right to left, really hitting the hips on this internal and external rotation, making those hips stronger and more mobile. About 10 more seconds. Good work. Continue to breathe. Nicely done. Five, four, three, two, 
One, good work. Now we have sit-ups. If you have a basketball, grab a basketball. If you don't have one, no worries. You can still go through these sit-ups. If you have a partner, you can high-five your partner in the middle. We are going to pass the basketball back and forth though. So we're going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, maybe even hook your feet. I'm gonna go on the inside here, okay? We're gonna go behind. We're each gonna sit up, and then as we come to the top, We'll pass. Beautiful job. Again, we're just going to be working for about 30 seconds here. <laughs> you okay on space? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm good right. here. Making it work. I like it. Good job. There we go. About 15 more seconds, y'all. Good work. Just trying to get that whole body nice and warm, nice and prepped for the workout that we have for you guys today. 10 more seconds. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome job. Good work. All right. We're going to go over into a high plank next. In this high plank position, we're going with our shoulder taps, okay? So we'll come on down to the ground. You can always keep your knees on the ground if you need to. Otherwise, we're bringing those knees off the ground. Going in three, two, one. One, again, we're trying to stay nice and steady, trying to limit the amount of shifting that happens right to left, so you can squeeze your glutes nice and tight, squeeze your belly. Again, we're going opposite hand to shoulder here. How strong and steady can you be? Good work, about halfway. Good, keep breathing. Good, less than 10. Woo, five. Four, three, two, one. Excellent job. Awesome, y'all. Shake that off. Moving into our high knees next, okay? We're coming right here. Going in three, two, one. Here we go. Core starting to turn on. Mm -hmm. My body's starting to feel good. Awesome. That's exactly what we want. I remember as a kid, the warm-ups used to seem very boring. Mm -hmm. Just because my body felt really good because I was so young, but as I got older, the warm-up became the most important part. 100%. I feel like I can't optimize my workout until my body is prepped and ready to go. Yep. Three, two, one, relax, butt kicks, go, go, and that comes from a solid warm-up. The more we can warm up and just get to that point where we're not exhausted yet, yep. but everything's working, the heart rate is up a little bit things feel loose, then we can really push hard in the workout. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome job. Frankenstein kicks, ready? Mm -hmm. Three, two, one, here we go. And it's important to attack the warm up just like you would the skill work the workout and the decompression, they are all mm -hmm. equally important mm -hmm. to making sure that we're getting better 100%. day in and day out. Nat, if you don't mind, I know that this was supposed to be our last movement for a warm-up, but can I throw a challenge in after this movement? Oh yeah, yeah? surprise, yeah. I like it. Here we go guys, almost there. Three, two, one, awesome. awesome. So like Nat had mentioned, our skill of the day, we're gonna be working on our acceleration. So basically getting stronger when we try to sprint up and down the court, right? Mm -hmm. Now, a big part of that is being strong on one leg. So let's do some single leg hinges. Ooh, okay. We've done these before in our workouts. Let's just see how our balance is maybe getting better or not. Cool? Awesome. Awesome. So we'll just go one leg here at a time, and then let's go five on each side. We're just gonna push that hip back, and then we'll stand all the way up tall. And we're not going fast, right? We're just taking our time. Look how Nat's taking her time. A little bit of wobbliness, but the wobbliness is good. That means our body is trying to get better. That means that we're not great at something yet, but the wobbly is our body trying to learn how to get better at that, that one movement. So this is perfect right here, guys. Take your time, really make sure, see for me, I get a little wobbly here at the end, and I'm gonna try to hold that as long as I can before mm -hmm. I need to bail. Right? Mm -hmm. Let's go again. Five on each leg here. Now, we like to cue keeping the back toes down towards the ground. So you'll see, again, the toes just stay facing the floor. That just keeps these hips square to the floor because what we want to limit is this happening. We don't want to open mm -hmm. up 
to the side. Now maybe there's a time and a place for that, but for right now, we're trying to stay square to the floor, keeping our chest mm -hmm. facing the ground. So that's just a helpful tip there, is try to keep the toes pointed down mm -hmm. to the ground. I got one more time here. Awesome job, y'all. Beautiful, good work, good work. Awesome. Way to finish, finish on that one. Last rep. Mm -hmm. Take your and time. And I'm good. Awesome. Good job. Okay, guys. Now we're going to get into our skill of the day. So again, parents and kids, this is very, very important for y'all. Not only is it going to help your sprinting technique, but it's also going to get us stronger in our hips and in our hamstrings. And again, anybody out there that has knee issues, these are some drills that we could be doing to make sure that our hips are working and not just our knees, okay? Now, I'm going to show a practice rep, and then I'll let you jump in, and I'll coach Natalie, and I'll coach you guys, okay? Awesome. Well, number one, go find a wall, okay? Find a wall here somewhere that we can use. I'm going to use this wall right here, okay? And now, what I really want you guys to look at, just like we did in our hinge, we had a long spine. So I want this long spine right here. I'm almost leaning forward here towards the wall. So I don't want to be upright. I want to try to find this lean to where I'm on the ball of my foot and my legs and arms are locked out. Now I'm going to start slow. I'm going to bring one knee up and then I'm going to pull that back and switch. Now all I'm going to do here today is as I switch, and we're going to switch a little bit quicker, I don't want my spine to be moving up and down, right? I want to keep this long line as we switch. Switch, 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 switch. And again, as I'm doing that, my back leg is locked out. I'm on the ball of my foot and my arms are staying locked out. I'm almost trying to press my chest down towards the ground. Again, we want to find that forward lean position and then we just start switching our legs. I'll tell you when to switch. Natalie's going to go to the wall. She's going to do it with you guys. We're going to get 10 reps here. So five on each leg. When you switch is when I say switch. Sounds good, y'all. So you guys are waiting for my cue. Got it. I have a thought. Could, if they don't have some space on the wall, could they maybe just use their partner? Yeah, if you have a partner, you could always just go into a forward lane so I can get my hands on their shoulders. And then I'll have Natalie's yep, feet come together. And then I'm going to have her slowly lean towards me. So she's trusting me. She's going onto the ball of her feet and she's holding her hair. See this little lean? That's the same lean that we can find on the wall. And then she could switch her legs in that same position. So it's just okay. driving one up at a time. So great cool. question. Cool. If you don't have a wall, you can use your partner. So step number one, let's find our lean. Arms are locked out and you can see Natalie's ears are right by her arms, okay? Now as she's here, she's just gonna start, you guys start by just pulling one knee up. Beautiful, now we're gonna switch from here, okay? Ready, switch, that's one. Switch, that's two, keep pressing. Switch, that's three, she's pressing the whole time. Switch, especially when you switch, press as hard as you can. Switch, beautiful, five more. Switch, beautiful, switch, almost there. Switch, two more now, switch, one more, switch, and take a second to breathe. Awesome, if your partner is there, you would do the same thing or you guys are going at the same time, take a second to rest. We're gonna do that one more time. And again, I really want you guys to focus on this part of your body. Don't let it move up or down or side to side. Try to stay as still as possible through your arms and through that leg that's behind you on the ground, cool. okay? Crap. Here we go, guys. Last 10 right here. Just wait for me, listen for me here, okay? Keep that long position, keep your stability. And go ahead, switch. Beautiful, you look at her toes are pulling up towards her knee. That's perfect. Switch, ball of the foot contacting, good angle. Switch, that's three. Switch, that's four. Switch, that's five. Switch, six. Switch, seven. Switch, two more. Switch, last one, guys. Switch, beautiful, awesome work. Now you feel the hips working? Good, good. And again, guys, we're always looking to find that leg being locked out and squeezing our hip at the end. That's something that we almost do every single day, especially with our professional athletes. Now, let's get into the workout, okay? Awesome. So, we're gonna go through three rounds here together today. 35 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest before our next movement. It's almost gonna be like a circuit. So one movement right after the next, just with the 10 second rest in between. First thing we have, we'll show a couple demo reps and then we'll start together. My leg is gonna pull up 
and then back behind me here at an angle. You can see we step towards the corner. Our back leg, or sorry, our front leg, our toes are gonna come up as we lunge into the stepping leg. I'll come all the way back, and then we're gonna alternate knee up, knee towards the corner, and then toes come up. I got a flat foot here back behind me. Let's go together, 35 seconds. Three, two, one, and let's get it, guys. Chest is up, toes are up, perfect. And we're just gonna alternate. If one leg, guys, or one side seems a little bit tighter, maybe it seems a little bit harder for you to find your balance, then hold it there for a little bit. This side's a little bit harder for me, so I'm gonna pause before I come on up. Or if you feel great, you just keep moving dynamically from side to side. Beautiful, good work, y'all. Keep it going. 10 seconds here. Stepping back. Chest and eyes are facing forward. Three, two, one. Now we're gonna go down to the ground. Again, demo the rep with us, and then we'll start our timer. So, one push up, and then reach one arm towards the ceiling, okay? One push up, take your arm up towards the ceiling. Then we go push up, then we go to the next side. Remember, if you want to do the push up on your knees, go from your knees. 35 seconds, guys. Three, two, one. I'm gonna go for my knees the first couple reps. Here, as I reach. Every time we go, we're just alternating the hand that we reach with. Okay, I'm starting to feel good, so I'm gonna go for my toes now. Nice job. Awesome work, guys. Continue to breathe. Stay tight in your push-up. As you guys reach up towards the ceiling, press your toes into the ground as hard as you can. Feel that stretch inside your core. Feel the stretch through your ribs. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome work, guys. We'll go here down towards the ground. The next thing we have, feet flat, hands behind us. We're just gonna shim box switch like we did in our warm-up and then pop on up to our hips. Now, can you show them how you can use your hands? We're gonna switch over to the next side. Nat uses her hands to switch, and then Nat's gonna use her hands also. I'm gonna use my hands to help me come on up. Again, I can use my hands here as much as I need to. Okay, everybody? Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go, guys. 35 seconds. Again, a little bit harder will go no hands, okay? A little bit easier to help you out. Use your hands to press you on up. But the challenge is how much can you use the inside and the outside of both of your legs and your hips as you switch and as you come up tall. Beautiful work, guys. Keep it up, y'all. Job that. Obviously, you're gonna see one side, guys, is gonna be a little bit tighter. That's perfectly fine. If you need to use your hands on that side, then by all means, use those hands as much as you need to. Last five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful, guys. Now, the next thing we have, last one, is our reverse plank hold. So, we're going to be here on our back. I want you to pull your belly button towards the ground. So, pull your lower back, pull your belly button down to get tight here. Then, from there, I'm going to lock out my legs. I'm going to reach my hands, and I'm going to hold 35 seconds. Again, I'm pulling down through my lower back. I'm pulling down with my belly button as my legs stay locked out. And then again, I can reach to make this harder. I can pull my hands in. If this is even really tough, I can pull my knees right over my hips, but I'm still pulling my lower back down, okay, everybody? Almost there, Nat, we're doing great. Almost there, guys, about 10 seconds. Keep breathing, lock out your legs. Pull your lower back down, five, four, three, two, one, and perfect, guys, shake that off. We got round two coming up. Stand up tall, 45 degree lunge in five, four, this one here, three, two, one, and let's move. Guys, we got round two now. These last two rounds, let's pick up our pace here a little bit. We're gonna start moving a little bit more, maybe talking a little bit less. If I wanna make this harder, I can even take my arms up overhead. And the goal, again, as I step back, this leg here, keep it flat. Keep this leg flat the whole time. Your forward leg is the one where you can go just on your heel. Here we go. Great job, Matt. Keep it up, bro. There you go. Trust your leg. Trust that you're going to find your landing back behind you. Look, we're not looking at our leg. We're going to trust it, and then we're going to load it. Less than 10 seconds, guys. Here we go. Nice 
Nice work. Nice work. Awesome work. work. Five, four, three, two. We're going to go onto the ground, guys. Push up and then reach up towards the ceiling. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Push up, reach. There you go. Push up and reach. Push up and then reach. Keep it up, guys. Doing great, y'all. My push ups are feeling strong. Oh, yeah. Ooh, you've done so many push ups <laughs> in the first couple weeks that, yeah, you're right. That this is starting to feel a lot easier, a lot more comfortable. But it doesn't mean I can't make it harder by doing more reps or maybe going a little bit slower down Ooh, and then a little bit slower on the way on up. Five, four, three, two, one. Then we're gonna go onto our butt, guys. Our shin box extensions. Remember, hands or no hands. Three, two, one. We got 35 seconds, y'all. Here we go. Beautiful. And if you wanna challenge your conditioning a little bit more, just simply breathe through your nose. Don't use your mouth to breathe, only use your nose. That'll challenge what some people will call your cardio. It'll challenge your endurance, challenge your cardio a little bit more. 15 seconds. Nice job, nice job. Remember, you can you use your hands here? You can you use your hands to push up? You can use your hands as you come down. Three, two, one, guys, on your lower back, we have our reverse plank hold, okay? 35 seconds, three, two, one, and here we go. Legs Remember, locked out. You can come here. I can be nice and tight, and then I can slowly just start to extend my limbs. If I wanna make that a little more challenging, can always come back in to then lighten the load a little bit. Oh yeah, so many different levels, guys. So many different places we can take this. Almost home, 15 seconds down. Again, keep pulling your lower back down. Keep pulling your belly button down. Don't crunch more. Stay long with your neck, stay long with your chest. Just pull down through your lower back. Four, three, two, one. Guys, stand on up. We got one more round. Awesome work, guys. Here we go, 45 degree lunge, okay? Three, two, one, and let's move. Awesome work, Nat. Here we go. Last time for the day, guys. Last time again, back foot flat, forward foot comes off the ground. Back foot flat, forward foot, forward toes come off the ground. Here we go, y'all. Keep breathing. Nice job. Almost there, guys. Halfway through. Halfway through here. Again, sit the hip back. Let your glute and let your hip work for you. Perfect. Less than 10 seconds, guys. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, and then onto the ground. One, we got our push ups, okay? Push ups with the reach in five. Last time. Four, three, two, one. Here we go. Push up, reach, push up, reach, push up, reach, push up. Reach. I like this added side plank challenge, keeping yep. those hips up. Yep. Nice job. Almost there, guys. Keep breathing. Here we go. About 10 seconds left, guys. Come on. We got this. Last time for the day. Here we go. Keep breathing. Five, four, three, two, one awesome work onto our back side. We got the shin box switches here, okay? Again, hands or no hands. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Again, making this one harder, we can try just breathing through our nose. It makes you have to relax and calm your breath. That might even mean you move a little bit slower, but that's okay. Remember, our breath is always the priority. If we lose our breath, our mind goes. If our mind goes, our body goes with it, okay? Almost there, guys. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Last time on our lower back, nice little plank hold. Sound good, everybody? Let's get through this one, okay? Five, four, three, 
three, two, one. Here we go, guys. Whatever you need to do to get through this last round, I'm going to challenge you to hold this for 35 seconds, okay? If you got to put your head and your mind and your thoughts somewhere else, then let it go. Just like Nat has been talking about with our book of the month, Mind Gym. The mind is so important. When you feel like, ah, oh, I'm starting to get tired. I might need to give up right now. Find deeper. Dig deeper. Find somewhere else where your mind can go. 10 seconds, everybody. Keep breathing. We're fighting with you. We're breathing with you. Last five, four, three, two, one. Woo, awesome work, everybody. Great job, Natalie. Good job. Awesome work. Now again, guys, each week, we're gonna keep making these workouts harder. We're gonna keep throwing different movements in. We're gonna keep making sure that we're getting better and getting challenged every single week, okay? Yeah. I love it. If you guys have more time, of course, you could continue to move through these movements, but three rounds like we just went through, more than enough is, again, as long as you're intentional from the warm-up all the way to the decompression, you should mm -hmm. be feeling good. But by all means, if you want to go through it again, mm -hmm. go for it, even yeah. on our recovery days, if you want to go through those again. So we just mm -hmm. want to encourage you guys to just really listen to your body and give it what it needs. 100%. Cool. Now they're going to take them to the decompression. Yes. Okay. Awesome. Now, so... For this decompression today, what I want you to do is I want you to get some lateral reaches with me here. So we'll start standing. We'll go soft bend in the knees. We'll take one hand across our belly, one hand up and over our head. Again, we're just moving slow. We'll do this three times in each direction, okay? Getting hips pushed to the side, feeling this nice stretch to the lateral portion of our body. Hips push. I'm gonna look up towards my top hand Big reach, trying to reach through these fingertips. One more time each way. Lock out the arms. One more. Awesome job. Now, we'll go down to the ground next, okay? We're going to just move through some cat cows. So we're going onto our hands and knees. From right here, we'll grab about five reps of a cat cow, moving slow. So we'll drop our belly down to the ground, look up towards the ceiling. And then tuck our chin, press into the floor, round up that spine. Again, just moving with your breath nice and easy. That's two. That's three. Four, let's do one more. Awesome job, you guys. Now, the final one is coming down. We did this shin box extension, taking the back hand onto the floor, pushing our knees into the ground, bringing the hips up as we reach up. Let's just take two breaths. We'll keep our hips high, one more. Hopefully feeling that stretch along the front side of your body, especially down along the quad here, down towards the knee and the front side of the hip. Last time, two breaths here at the top on the other side. And relax. Good work, y'all. And give yourself a pat on the back. Give someone around you a little fist bump high five. Excellent job today. Here's what I want to leave you with today. Our journal prompt is all about taking risks, okay? It's important to push ourselves enough to where sometimes we feel like we're taking a big risk. If we're always just staying in our comfort zone, oftentimes we won't grow and get better. So I want you to think about something in your life, maybe a pastime where you've taken a risk and how did that work out? What did you learn from it? And then maybe make a list of some things that you could take risks on moving forward. So you can kind of prep yourself for those big events, right? And again, you can think about what are some of the pros and cons or the positives and the negatives that come from taking a risk. I hope that you find more positives than you do negatives. Go ahead and share that out with your friends and family members. Write that down in your journal. We'll see you guys tomorrow.